is I forgot the names. I forgot the names. Yeah. But I, I'm gonna remember. That, I'm gonna tell the part that I like. Yeah. Is that okay? You have to see what you do. She's gonna be doing a show uh, next week at the castle, and she's gonna tell you who the people are because I forgot them. But this lady, when did we first? I, did I approach you on Facebook? Anyway, we we. we I'd heard her name and seen her out, and I never got to see her out. And I kept saying, you're going to come be in the show. And then one of things go months and months and months. And then I'm in a, another little show that I'm trying to go out and meet some people. And then the, the, the host gets up and our next person up, and she says this name. And, oh, my gosh. And I mean, I'm just like laughing my ass off. I mean, I'm like, yes. Man, you feel good because marketing sucks, but I know my talent when I see it. Hey. Okay. So, this lady has opened for Cedric the Entertainer. Now, I, I'm a Cedric the Entertainer fan, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm that impressed the hell So please, please give a nice warm welcome to Miss Tanisha Rice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. Give it up for Russ and Pressure. Oh, yeah. Pressure. Great name, because the pressure is on. <laughs> Like two people left. Like I think everybody else is comic, so the pressure is on. <laughs> the pressure is on this couple here. Like this, this bench, the pressure is on you guys. We make you laugh. We are killing this shit. Is what I say. You sir, I know you belong over there. So if I make you laugh, I might get to check about the cameraman. We are killing this shit. So, yeah, the pressure is on. But no, this is great. This is great. I'm feeling good. I, I, comedy is like my relief. I had a real long day. I had to bury my kitten today, you know, so I was real sad. Right? It was a session. And um, I don't know if anybody's seen Pet Cemetery, but uh, my son was so sad about it. I said, don't worry, I'm going to bury the kitten in the backyard. He'll be close. Like, chill out. Okay, stop all that crying shit. So I buried the cat. It's, it's a baby kitten. It took me eight fucking hours to bury this kitten. It's crazy. And you know, it wasn't it wouldn't have been so bad, but the cat kept crawling out the fucking hole. So I was like, it took me, it took me eight fucking it wasn't no, it wasn't that I just hated that cat, kept shitting in the tub. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit I can't deal with. You got the go cat. You know, he'll probably be back out by the time I get home. <laughs> shit in the tub again. You know, so it's cool, but now I'm feeling really good. I joined the gym, it's almost summertime. Hello. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, my gym flow is crazy. Yeah, it's just in three months. Joined the gym three months. I've been hitting hard. And seriously, in three months, I have lost about $60. Like, I really have lost. <laughs> Okay, that's how we do that shit. And it's crazy because it's not my fault I didn't lose the weight I wanted. You know, it's LA Fitness fault. Of course it is, you know, because they kicked me out the gym. Like, who knew you couldn't eat ice cream sandwiches on the equipment, right? Like, who knew that? There's no sign, right? You know, there's no sign. And he comes up to me and I said, excuse me, sir. There ain't no sign. You can't, you can't tell me how to cool down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't. You can't. Trip you. Okay? <laughs> I will 
trip your ass. You know? yeah. Cause you know they got those Victoria's Secret, those cute little jogging pants with like P I N K on the back side. By the time I got the treadmill, it should say P K. Everybody's like, damn, P K. Are you a preacher's kid? Are you a preacher's kid? I don't know. Craziness. The gymnast is so stupid, and they make it seem like this big magical fun place, and it's not. It's a fucking gym, you know. You pay your money to do an irritation, they give you a tour, and they're like, uh, we got a pool, we got a sauna, we got a jacuzzi, we got a steam room. I said that is great, but where is the cafeteria? Okay. And what day is pizza day? Because I am hungry. When is lunch? What period is lunch? Okay. I always took lunch after gym. Yeah. Here it is, lunch. It's a rip off. What am I paying twenty dollars for? We don't even get dinner. Like this is dumb. <laughs> it's crazy. And they judge you. They judge you. I didn't have a gym bag. Like I guess that's a big deal for like people who go to the gym. Like, <laughs> oh, you got a nice gym bag. Oh, so your gym flow better than mine, bitch. You know, like really. And I come there with my Audi bag, and all of a sudden I'm not serious. I'm not serious about my workout. You know, like come on. So my mom, I would complain every day. My mom, she got me a gym bag for Christmas. It turns out I didn't have any gym shit to put in my gym bag. You know, so I just put anything that was clothes. I put that little cat in it. I don't, I didn't have anything. I put a toaster in that bitch. I don't know. Like, Michael Jackson thriller tapes. I don't know. Like anything that would just fill it up, so they would know I mean business. That's just it. It's crazy. Oh my God. So I've lost about two ounces. Like, I, mean, I think I'm about two ounces. Those points, you know, I, I watch those on the scale. You got the digital scale that gives you the point. Yeah, I love the point too. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I did joke a lot. But really, I have lost five pounds. And I'm excited about my five pound shit. I'm excited. I have lost five pounds actually in two days, really. Thank you, food poisoning. You know what I mean? Like, I should have been doing this shit. You know, like, I am three food poisoners away from my weight loss goal. Like, who needs a gym? You know? Just let that steak sit out a little longer, you know? That is, that is miraculous. I went to the restaurant, I said, my shit was bad. No! I want the salmonella steak. No! Take it back, it smells too fresh. So that's three tips, ladies. You're welcome. <laughs> be beach body ready, I tell you. We got gentle. We got three full pools poisoning. It was 20 pounds, I swear. To God. But no, it's cool. That's cool. We'll get it together. Because I am dating, you know, I'm trying to get, you know, some type of for little because I'm dating. Um, but what I don't really like is when the guy tries to introduce you to his family all quick. You know, you're getting to know him, you want one date. Tops too, and he wants you to meet his mom, you know, those little ugly kids. Like, no, I don't want to meet. Let me get to know you first, right, sir? Uh, the last guy dated, he liked me so much, he tried to introduce me to his wife. I said, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Slow it down, speed racer. I cannot meet everybody. Jesus. Okay, so the other guy, like, I really liked him, so I was going to cook him breakfast for his birthday. Like, I was feeling his ass. I don't get up early or cook, so it's a big shit for me. <laughs> and you know, I get there, I cook breakfast, six o'clock in the morning, I don't set off a smoke alarm or nothing, okay? I am killing this breakfast, right? I am killing this shit. And you know, fellas, when a girl got on her way to cook you breakfast, all we really want is a thank you. That's it, thank you. I don't, you know, I don't need all this how the fuck you get in my house bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that doesn't matter, sir. Like, that doesn't matter how I got in here. What matters is if you want this Captain Crunch or not, bitch. Like, that's what, that's what's going on here. And then it's about time for me to get out of here, but I do do social work in Inglewood. Who else working in Inglewood? Oh, in the inner city? No, you just work with a lot of fucked up people, too? No, I okay. said. West, oh, well, damn, fuck. I don't know. We could toss a coin up because we could both die. Like, everything. So, like, I do such work in Inglewood, and it's tough. And um, I work with a lot of families. There's one particular lady. She has 10 kids, and I work with her a lot trying to help her out. And what's so crazy about her, she named all her kids Terry. All 10 of them. It's like six boys, three girls, and one little. I don't know what the last one is, you know, I just walk around with leopard legs and a football helmet on and all that, so I'm trying to figure out what that temple is, but they all are named Terry. So I'm doing her intake, I'm taking their birthday, and I said, excuse me, ma'am, I am not trying to be your business. Why the hell did you name all these kids Terry? She said, because it's easier for me. I get up in the morning, I call one name. Terry, breakfast ready. Right, they all come running down for breakfast, right? Terry, go clean up. They all clean up. Terry, go to bed. They all go to bed. I said, well, damn. 
That's pretty ratchet genius, man. <laughs> but what do you do when you only want one of them? She's like, girl, that ain't shit. I just call them by their last name. Washington, Jones, Jenkins, Clinton, <laughs> Clinton, 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 Clinton,